start by putting on the alternator bracket and then the air oil separator. And then the idle control stabilizer and associated plumbing for the brake booster and the venturi. Now going to put the belts in place and the front balance shaft pulleys. Timing belt goes on first. Make sure everything is indexed and lined up properly. And then the balance shaft goes on. Start doing some initial adjusting. Crank the engine over. Actually, I had to remove the spark plugs. There was too much compression to crank it over on the stand. Check the tension. Crank some more. I'm happy, so now I put the covers in place. Put those plugs back in before I forget. Now I'm going to put the intake on. I tilted the engine so the gaskets would stay in place so I don't have to fight against gravity. And my wiring harness, make sure that everything's lined up with that. After the intake manifold is torqued down, put a little bit of grease in the injector holes, and then I put on the throttle body. Time for the injectors now and the fuel rail. And now the subframe and the engine mounts. oil pressure sending unit. And the thermostat. Raise the engine up with the lift to take off the engine stand. And I have this dolly that bolts on where the control arms go. And this is how we will put it in the car. We'll be able to raise the car up, roll the dolly under the car, and then lower the car on top of it. But first we have to put the flywheel on, get the flywheel torqued down, get the pilot bearing in place. Put the clutch disc in place. with a suitable alignment tool, and then the pressure plate holds the clutch against the flywheel. The throw-out bearing is already installed on the pressure plate. The bell housing is going to go next, and the clutch
clutch fork, make sure that clutch fork is in place. And once the bell housing is in place, the clutch fork shaft will slide up in there. And then your sensors, your top dead center, and your RPM sensor go in place. You can't tell because I'm blocking the view of the camera, but I'm using a caliper to double check and to set the gap of the reference sensor off of the flywheel teeth. 